Okay, so I get it. Yeah, I've been a bad YouTuber. It's totally the truth, and there's some reasons for that. See, uh, if you just saw in there, that's my Fortnite station. And I've been playing Fortnite to kind of de-stress from the day, and haven't been filming videos. I've been really, really, really busy at work. See. See, this, this machine right here, it's been taking up all of my time and not for the reasons that it usually does, which is part of the day coding and then part of the day video editing and then part of the day just perusing whatever random website I decide to peruse, like Twitter, which went down the other day. But no, I've been really, really, really busy at work. And that's good because I'm working on this project and it's super exciting and I'm learning lots of new things and I'm building something on my own for a company, which is, you know, wild to have that opportunity. But I haven't been doing this, which is interfacing with you guys and that's sad because I miss you guys and I like talking to you guys and I like telling you about my day and giving advice and sharing what I'm going through as a developer because a lot of you guys are trying to get into this or you're, you are in it and yeah, you can relate. So here is a video and this video is kind of two things. One, an update, which I kind of just gave and two, a life lesson from work. Yeah. So I realized the lighting in that last clip was really bad. This is probably too, since I can't monitor myself, flip the screen around. I'm a little underexposed. Let's fix that here. Okay, so yeah, life lesson. If you're a new developer and you're just starting out and you're doing like Udemy projects or you're doing Team Treehouse or anything like that, I have one big suggestion for you. And that is as quickly as humanly possible, probably after you start making projects with JavaScript, you should learn something that's very, very important and saves developers' lives all day, every day. And that thing is GitHub. See, GitHub can be incredibly frustrating and I totally get that and it can be hard to understand. It's archaic, you use the terminal to kind of use it. Although you can get the desktop GUI, which I recommend because it's really good. Or if you have VS Code, there's an integration for that too. But GitHub saves lives. See, the other day I lost a whole lot of work, like a ton of work that I had to then go back and redo and it was all because I have become bad at the habit of pushing to GitHub. So if you don't know what GitHub is, and if you don't know what Git is, it's version control. And it's also kind of a third party like storage place for your code, right? If you know what Google Drive is or Dropbox, imagine that, but for code. And there's definitely a way deeper explanation, but that's probably the simplest way that I can describe it to somebody who doesn't know exactly what it is. GitHub uses a system of creating repositories for your code by using Git and Git it is a magical thing and you should learn it. And there are hundreds or thousands of things that you can do in Git, most of them I don't know, but the most important is you can save your code in a place that's not on your computer. So if you accidentally delete something, accidentally mess something up, or you just like completely blow a project to a point where it's unrepairable and you wanna go back to an earlier version of it, there's GitHub and there's Git and they have your back. I am talking exceedingly fast in this video, aren't I? I need some water and feel a little parched. Anyways, guys, if you don't know anything about Git or GitHub, Code Academy has free resources on Git and they also have free resources for learning the command line if you don't know anything about the command line yet. And yeah, as soon as you can, start to learn that and get an understanding of version control, even if it's something simple. In Git, you have branches and those hold different bits of code and then you merge those codes together and then you have one like source of truth for all of the code that's out and living on the web, right? Look up version control and version control strategies when it comes to Git and GitHub and have one of those and implement it in your personal projects. One, it looks really good on a resume to be able to say that you use Git and GitHub. Two, it looks really good on a portfolio to link to your GitHub to show that you've done this work. And three, if you're using version and control in your personal projects, that looks really, really, really good. This could be another reason why I'm talking really fast because like this is literally the last of an entire pot of coffee that I've been drinking for the day. So yeah, I'm really caffeinated. Anyways, guys, we will be back to a very much more regular scheduling, programming, blah, blah, blah words uh, in the near future, next week probably, once this project winds down and I have a little bit more free time and I'm not stressed and all of that stuff. Because right now I feel like I have the weight of the world on my shoulders, which I don't, but I'm putting that pressure on myself, blah, 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 blah. You get it. You know, big projects, that's how they work out. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for today. If you like this video, hit that like button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to tell me your favorite part about GitHub, leave it down down in the comments below if you want to follow along in my journey the subscribe button is down there too and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day i will see you again very soon bye